Welcome back, guys and girls. I was just trying to get Rusty to drink some lemonella to try to calm his personality, but apparently he didn't take too kindly to that and just gave me a nice punch in the leg. So, we're going to get out of here quickly. We'll drive this little green machine back to Central. Check out why they're calling us back to the main police depot. Get on with the case. I don't really think it's Grosvenor. I think it's more Hinsetter, but Grosvenor's kind of a creepy dude. All right, Rusty, what's your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Well, wrong way. Magic turn. Hey, get out of the way. That's $10 of damage. I like this intersection with all the wires overhead. That's pretty detailed, pretty awesome. Hey, look at the fruit on the wall. Fun fruit, fun fruit. All right, how far are we? We're right here. Oh, it's just a straight shot, okay. Well, this will give us a nice time to drive through the city and see what's up. I, uh, I just was super excited because I was just reading online that Catwoman is going to be playable in Batman Arkham City, the new Batman game coming out this year from Rocksteady. I love Batman Arkham Asylum. Arkham City is one of, if not my most anticipated game of the year. I will for sure, one million thousand trillion percent without fail, be doing a walkthrough of Arkham City. Um, I absolutely loved and adored Arkham Asylum, Full of King. And I, I can't wait for this one. And Catwoman's going to be playable. It's not co-op. It's still strictly single player. But she's going to have her own, like, almost, like, chapter, I guess, within the game. But it's going to be fully featured and fully fleshed out. So she'll have abilities that you can upgrade and stuff. It's going to be, like, a, a change of pace probably midway through the game. And where all of a sudden you get to take control of Catwoman, which has me super excited. That's awesome. I love it. I love, I love when games allow you to be new characters. I think that's fantastic. Central Police Station, 1.16 p.m. The bowling alley, the bar, and driving back here apparently only took 11 minutes because we arrived at the bowling alley at 1.05. Colin, Colin and Finbar, they don't mess around. They get right to business and move. The captain is downstairs with Ray Pinker and Carruthers. Uh, more notes? What do we got? More bodies? Let's go, Russ. Bust those doors open. Hello, guys. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Hey, be nice. Don't be a jerk. What's up, boys? What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases, which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers, cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick, but she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? You sure you want to know, Ray? As far as we can be sure, it said cunt BD. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? Cunt is all about access, Phelps. You're married, so yours is mortgage. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy? Doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Captain, we have good leads in the Summers case, but it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. And to follow up on Evelyn Summers, I want daily reports. All right, well, that's interesting. We got our orders. Back to the Summers case. Get an address for McCaffrey. He'll have blown the bar. I'll meet you outside. All right, Russ, we come, you coming? Let's go outside. Time to go uh, trace an address on Grover McCaffrey just to make sure he's not guilty of anything and maybe get a little more info. But apparently, the chief of police is starting to believe us, or believe Cole and me at least, that the, uh, the whole Black Dahlia thing is a little bit more suspicious than it looks, and maybe there is some... Some ties, like we've known all along. Some magic going on here. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Apartment 6, 126 Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thanks, ma'am. 
course he'd live on Yale Street. He's a fine, educated man who thinks he's even more educated than he really is. So that's where we'll head. We're at Central. Time to go to Grosvenor's place. I think that's our only objective right now, right? We don't have anything else that we can really do here. Yep, investigate the apartment. Let's go. Boom. We're out of here. Whoops. No. Here we go. Time to ride this crazy green car to Rusty's... Or to Grosvenor's place, rather. Maybe... I don't know. Let maybe pose a question. Whoa. Depends. What you got to do with it? Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends. On what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch in the slammer ever found out. Wow, Rusty. You're very, uh... Very anti-morals. Very nasty. Very... Just about doing your job and going home. You don't really care about people. But me, cold, we ain't like that. We don't stand for that crap. So you're gonna have to deal with it. We're gonna figure out who the Black Dahlia is. It's the last thing we do. So help me, God. Bombs away. Okay, or not. <laughs> breathe, no. Breathe, damn it. Sorry, I was trying to jump the jump the embankment. Apparently it didn't work so well. Grover, Grover, Grover. Ow. Living on Yale Street. And here it is. Do, do, do. We're almost there. Ah! Okay. Turn down here. And it's right at this place. Right? Yes? No? Maybe so? Let's go, Finny. One more building over, I guess. Right here. McCaffrey's apartment, 4.40 p.m. Whoa, we spent a lot of time at the police station. Three hours! Sure didn't seem like that, having too much fun down there in the basement. All right, Grosvenor. Your apartment six. Gene McCaffrey. McCaffrey is in apartment six. Yep, thanks, Cole, we knew that. Here we go! Is there a staircase? Level one. What about level two? Oh, it'd be right up here, all right. Think he's gonna be home, or you think he's gonna be out, and we can just do some? I'm guessing this is gonna be an investigation part. That's my guess. We haven't done much investigating lately, so my guess is investigate. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Boom, baby! Told ya. Let's check it out. Not sure this means much. The last bastion. Hey, I'm excited for bastion for Xbox Live Arcade, though. If that means anything. Dirty dishes, some Kellogg's, something or other, cornflakes. Okay. Got some bloody clothes over here, that's never a good sign. And a bloody tire iron, lovely Grosvenor. He said he was at home. He said he didn't know her. And we have the book. Let's see Carruthers argue his way out of this one. Is that you, Grosvenor? Who are you guys? What are you doing in here? We're from the LAPD, ma'am. Do you know where we might find McCaffrey? I'm his neighbor. Is he in trouble? Look, lady, we need to find him, and in a hurry. Are you gonna give me trouble? He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we get up there? Down the hall and up the stairs. Okay. I'm getting command of a carrier pigeon. Surely we can ride him up for that. A citation, at least. He's got a tire iron from the bowling alley, too, to try to pin it on... Pin it on the other guy. Bloody clothes. Creepy. Anything else in the apartment worth noting? I'm guessing they just want us to go confront him. But I thought we'd do a little bit more investigating. Uh-oh. Liquor. Doesn't look like anything. I'm sure, it's a bottle. You don't want to... Like the bottle, it's fine. What do we got here? A note. The bottom half of the note. Oh. Torn from the letter we found beside the body. At the very least, I'd say it ties McCaffrey to the scene. 
take long before you are healed, and you can come home. I have put your things back in your old room with a lock on the door for your privacy. You can come and go as you please. I will care for you, and you can return to your normal life. I know your address has changed, so I cannot be sure this letter will find you. But I pray that it does, and that you consider what I have said. I love you very much, and I may... I pray every night that you are safe, and that one day you will knock on my door, and the rift between us will be mended. With the love and understanding of your mother, Augusta Summers. Is that... Augusta? Is that... I guess Augusta Summers, okay. Got another book here, dude? Probably not. Fundamentals of Critical Theory, okay. Well, we know this dude was definitely there, so time to go pin it on him. Let's go get him, boys! Hey, neighbor woman. Get out of my way. Go back in your room. Got crime to solve. Okay. Let's go check out his his uh his chicken coop. Isn't he the cop that won the medal and is solving all the cases? Yep, that's me. Roof access. Good deal. Good deal. Whoops. Ugh, here we go. Let's. Well, no, dude. The turning in this game is a little bit wonky. Some serious wonk in the turning. Let's go get Grosvenor, though. Grosvenor, Grosvenor, Grosvenor! Grosvenor McCaffrey! Running on okay. hangover, McCaffrey? Sit down and we'll talk! Whoa, dude. Oh, he went down. Okay. Oh, my. Cold. You're gonna fall. Go get the wheels. Go get the wheels, Finny. And Cole, let's go. Use your stair climbing ability. We know you're a pro. I told everyone you're a pro. Make it, make it, make it mean something. Where'd he go? Up here? I like the music. Of course we got a runner. Of course he would run. Romer, you're a lot less innocent than we thought you were before. Lock him up and throw away the key. You Why can't I pull my gun? I need to pull out my gun on this dude. Whoa, texture pop. Major there. Whoa there. Hey. Romer, you can't run forever. A world famous track star. Cole Phelps, brother of Michael Phelps. Father, maybe, rather. He's got energy in the pool, I've got energy on the road. You jerk. I'll tackle your face. Why is he still running? Let's go, we're going to tackle you. Tackle, 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 boom! Good dive. You're under arrest on suspicion of murdering Evelyn Summers. Good capture, Cole. Thumbs up to the extreme. We need to get downtown and wrap this thing up. It's got to be the cap. Unless Terran set him up. You don't think right. that asshole Jameson could have done it, do you? Nah, whoever did it. So what's that Dahlia fuck? How do you know that McCaffrey didn't do the Dahlia? We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. If you think the list is exhaustive, Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together in a later date. I'll hold you to that. Hmm, things are starting to get tricky here. Everybody's looking suspicious. The bolding pin setter's looking suspicious. Grover is starting to look suspicious. Central Police Station, 7.14 p.m. You sure you can make it stick with one of these suspects, Jim? It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan is a one, McCaffrey is not two. I want a confession from one of them. Don't fail me, young Phelps. Oh, we won't fail you, sir. Right here, we're gonna wrap this episode up. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a fantastic day next time. We resume the interrogations. Until then, though, leave a like if you be so kind, and we will see you later.